guys! So today we're going to do a triple Louis Vuitton unboxing and I'm so excited to share these items to you guys. I thought of getting these items for months now but I just really can't pull the trigger for various reasons. But finally they are here so let's start the unboxing! This one, I wasn't really sure if I should get it or not because I already have a clay and I really prefer just having one SLG per category, if you know what I mean. But as I watch YouTube videos and scan on the first forum, many people swear by it and they said that it is very convenient and functional so I said I will just give it a try. It comes in this very cute dust bag and I got Louis Vuitton 6 ring key holder in Damier Ibn print. I'm so excited to have this finally after contemplating for so long. My only concern is I use valet parking a lot. So I guess I just have to find a way wherein I can easily remove my car key. My first choice of print is monogram since most of my SLGs are in monogram but they say that they don't have it in stock it's okay. It's the bottom and the top view. It has this very gorgeous chocolate brown interior. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I like that it has a slip pocket wherein you can put some cash or cards and you're good to go or your bag lining are still protected from the keys. Because with the clay, when I put my cash and cards in the pouch, the keys are just dangling outside and of course, I can't just put it inside my bag, especially if the leather, if the lining is leather. So guys, the first item is Louis Vuitton 6 ring key holder in Damia Ibn Print. I'm on the hunt for a good go-to bag, you know, running errands type of bag just to carry the bare essentials. I thought of getting the Chanel wallet on chain but I think that is too small for my need. When I called our LV local boutique, it wasn't available so I have to order it and wait it for about 2 weeks for it to arrive. The LV customer service said that it is going to be discontinued and it made me want it more. Because it is such a versatile bag and it has a very good price point for a Louis Vuitton bag. Although technically it is an SLG, many people still use it as a mini bag and I am planning to use it as a bag as well. Pochette SS1 new model in monogram canvas. I'm so happy to have this finally. For me, this is the perfect running errands type of bag. It is carefree and versatile. I can use it as a clutch, I can use it as a pouch, or when I go travel. I don't know why I did not bought this earlier. So here is the golden dress zipper. has this one Vachetta tab. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Here is the hook. So inside it has this brown interior and the strap that it comes with. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the strap because I'm planning to use it as a crossbody bag. Maybe I will keep it for the meantime. Here is the interior of the bag. You have this brown interior and brown lining and one slip pocket. The new 
new model is a little bit bigger than the old model and the old model doesn't have the slip pocket so I've already um, attached the strap and I will give you a quick measurements on the back so it is um, 9 inches in length and approximately it is 5 inches in height and almost close to 2 inches in width. The strap drop is um, about 9 inches, 9.5, 9 inches. What I'm going to use is the strap of my reverse monogram pochette Matisse. Because I don't have a crossbody um, strap that is machete or a classic monogram. What do you think, guys? I think it looks okay. It kind of gives the bag a different look. So here it is, guys. My Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire new model in monogram canvas with my reverse monogram strap. Now, on to the last item. A little bit of a backstory. Two months ago, I did purchase a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier in Damier Ben print, which I think I only did the reveal on my Instagram. I am enjoying the bag, but after a few days of using it, I noticed that the leather part on the side has a lot of creasing. Now we insert some pictures. with it immediately as I am very busy at that time and my problem with my pochette Matisse was just settled and I guess I just don't want to deal with another Louis Vuitton issue so I kind of just accepted the flaws and time flies so as the 30 days exchange period was over and I was like oh well it's okay but as time goes I noticed that the creasing was getting worse and it's faster than it should be and I saw myself not reaching for the bag that much because I'm afraid to make the cursing situation worse. And I realized that it's not serving its purpose, which is to be used and enjoyed. So I've decided to bring it to Louis Vuitton. Maybe they can have it repaired or whatever. I wasn't really expecting for an exchange because it's more than 30 days since I bought it and I completely understand that. But they checked the bag and they said that it was a defect and they offered an exchange. Of course, I was happy about that. My essay said that it is really a case-to-case -case basis. Maybe if they saw that there is really a defect on the bag and not just a normal wear and tear, they will still offer you a replacement. I'm okay with exchanging it with another Speedy B30 but they don't have it in stock. So... I just got Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier, still in dummy event print, but in the size 25. Here she is. So cute. I love the size of the B30, especially if you you're if you're gonna use it as a top handle. But now, I really prefer using my bag as a crossbody bag, so I think B25 is a more suitable size for it. And I realized with my B30, I can't even stuff the bag half full, so I guess I really don't need a bigger bag. If ever, I'm okay with my Neverfull MM. Yep, here is my Speedy Bandelier 25 in perfect condition. There are no creasing. I checked every inch of the bag and hopefully I will not have the um, same issue. So here it is. It's at Louis Vuitton Paris. Still made in France. Here is the bottom. the top view 
My only concern on this bag is the zipper opening. We all know that it is smaller than the B30, so it can be hassle. We'll see. It has this very beautiful red lining. There is the strap. This is a three parts leather strap. Also a earring. Now let's open the lock and keys. These are just the lock and the keys. There you go. Now let's take the measurements of the bag. It's approximately 10 inches. 25 centimeters in length. It is 7 inches in height. And almost 6 inches in width. Before I bought the B30, my original plan was to get really a B25. So I already um, ordered some Marco organizer for a speedy B25 beforehand, and I'm so happy that I can use it now. like with a smorgo organizer inside so that's it guys that's it for my mini haul i hope you enjoy thank you for watching bye guys